stop what you're doing and listen. Cannonball! Today, Anchorman, the legend of Ron Burgundy, turns 20 years old. Emmy Award winning anchor, Ron Burgundy. The comedy about a San Diego news team in the 1970s has become a classic in the last two decades. I'm Ron Burgundy? But on everyone's millionth rewatch of Will Ferrell's unpredictable news reads, There was a time, a time before cable. They'll still first always be created by the voice of an actual legendary broadcaster. There was a time, a time before cable. Back in the early 2000s, Emmy and Peabody winner Bill Curtis says he was largely retired from his decades-long career as a journalist. Tonight, investigative reports. When he hesitantly took a call from director Adam McKay. Journalists don't do movies, though we didn't then. And I thought, oh, God, this could be the end of a career. Thankfully, he found the screenplay very funny. Ms. Veronica Corningstone. And could remember living through TV news in the 70s. For example, the main catalyst of the movie's plot is when women started finally getting more chances in the newsroom. And Curtis actually co-anchored with ABC News legend and pioneer Diane Sawyer in the early 80s. She uh, becomes the star. All of a sudden, the door is open. From NPR and WBEZ Chicago. Two decades later, and now his role as Anchorman's narrator has allowed this journalist to let loose and even become the voice of NPR's wildly popular game show, Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me. Come get a taste. And now, whenever he's introduced at an event... And they say in, uh, you know, 50 years as a broadcast newsman. Quiet. And uh, he was the voice of Anchorman. And they will go crazy.